The Trump family has a long history of being assholes. It all started in 1822, when Thaddeus Trump parked his horse in a handicap spot. <laughs> but lately, you could say they've been stretching the limits of how big an asshole a person can be. Starting with President Trump himself, who has apparently had nothing better to do than pick fights with children. President Donald Trump is going after a 16-year-old girl on Twitter. Climate change activist Greta Thunberg was named Times' as Person of the Year. She's been known to chastise world leaders for not doing enough. Trump responded to a tweet congratulating Thunberg by saying, quote, so ridiculous. Greta must work on her anger management problem, then go to a good old-fashioned movie with a friend. Chill, Greta, chill. Come on, man. The president of the United States is on Twitter bullying a teenage girl. Just try to imagine any other president doing something like this, huh? Like, imagine FDR doing a fireside chat where he just goes in on Shirley Temple, you know? <laughs> He's like, my fellow Americans, this little girl can't dance for shit. <laughs> She's got worse moves than I do, and my legs don't work. <laughs> also, also, Donald Trump has no right to tell anybody to chill. All right. He is the least chill human being of all time. <laughs> like, if there's anyone you wouldn't want on your meditation app, it's this guy. <laughs> Could you imagine him trying and be like, inhale and exhale. <laughs> Let the air rush into your lungs <laughs> like the criminals and rapists swarming across the border, <laughs> coming to take your jobs and kill your parents. <laughs> In fact, your parents are already dead. <laughs> Namaste. But I gotta admit, I gotta admit, to Greta Thunberg's credit, she took it all in her stride. Because after Trump tweeted her to chill, she changed her Twitter bio to a teenager working on her anger management problem, currently chilling and watching a good old-fashioned movie <laughs> with a friend. <laughs> and that's... That's phenomenal from her. And I'm not surprised. You know, she's 16, so she's used to handling temper tantrums from immature boys. I get it. <laughs> and it's not just Daddy Trump who's making headlines right now. Because while he's beefing with kids, asshole Junior is over here taking shots at even more vulnerable targets. A new report reveals Donald Trump Jr. went on a hunting trip to Mongolia this past summer and killed an endangered sheep. ProPublica reports the trip was supported by both government and Trump Jr. got special treatment. He reportedly shot the endangered Argali sheep at night using a laser sight. Who is this guy? <laughs> he needed to use a laser sight at night to take down a sheep? <laughs> This is an animal so peaceful, literally just thinking about them makes us fall asleep. <laughs> and he's coming at them like it's a raid on Bin Laden. It's a sheep! <laughs> an animal so vulnerable it can't go outside without wearing a sweater. It's a sheep! <laughs> you killed a sheep, you basically went hunting in a nursery rhyme. Who are you? <laughs> and also, what kind of asshole wants to kill an endangered species? Like, most of us don't even want to take the last nacho out of the bowl. And Don Jr.'s out here putting panda bears in chocos. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! <laughs> now, look, it's obviously not great karma for little Bo Creep to be killing off a species. <laughs> so you would think maybe the Trumps could make things up to the universe with their family charity, except <laughs> this family is so cartoonishly villainous. They even do charity like assholes. Well, President Trump will be paying up to $2 million to charities to satisfy his settlement of a New York state lawsuit over his misuse of charitable funds at the Trump Foundation. The president was accused of illegally using money from the Trump Foundation to help his 2016 campaign. Also, as a part of that settlement, the president was required to acknowledge his misuse of the funds, his children to undergo training about misusing charity funds, and they must report to the attorney general if they ever create a new charity. Yeah, you heard that right. The president had to pay $2 million because he stole money from his own charity. Yeah. He used charity money to make political donations, to settle lawsuits involving his businesses, and he even bought a painting of himself to hang at his own resort. Yeah. <laughs> like, if Trump weren't rich, he'd be one of those people who pretend that they're dying just to start a GoFundMe, you know? <laughs> he'd be like, hey, guys, the doctor says I've got Ebola berculitis in my Lorax. <laughs> And the only thing that can make me better is to own a giant picture of my own dumb face. 
Now, as you heard, Trump doesn't just have to pay $2 million. The court also ordered his three older kids to attend a training session on how to not steal from a charity. <laughs> yeah, and you might be wondering what that training would even look like, but wonder no more, because we got our hands on the video. And now, the New York State Guide to Avoiding Charity Abuse. Don't steal from a f***ing charity, asshole. This has been the New York State Guide to Avoiding Charity Abuse. So informative.